Hello everyone, today we are trying the before noon tea at Mimi's Bakehouse. <laughs> Try not to get run over. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well. There is a little wind today, I hope you can hear me. Um, so today we are down at Leith. Here we are. This is Leith. Um, or at least Leith Docks. Um, harbour, Leith Harbour, Leith Docks. There's the water of Leith, see that? That is the water of Leith. Um, and we have been invited uh, by Mimi's Bakehouse to come down and try their before noon tea. Now this is something they used to do before the pandemic started. Um, and uh, they unfortunately stopped it for a while, obviously. They're bringing it back and we've been invited down to try it, which I'm very excited about because one, you know how much I love Mimi's Bakehouse. And two, you know how much I love an afternoon tea. So this is a before noon tea, so yeah. Why would I not want to do that? But first, let's have a little look around the area just so you know roughly how to get there. And a, a brief little bit about Mimi's Bakehouse as well. So I just want to give you roughly where we are. This is right at the shore of Leith, really. In fact, there's, there's a, a sign on the wall there that says, Sure. There you go. See, that's that's where we are. It's a beautiful area. If you're ever in Edinburgh and you want to come down, it's lovely to come and sit by the. Oh, that dog's not very happy. Uh, sit by the harbour, have a cup of tea, have a walk around the area. It's one of these places that is becoming um, a, a must, really, to come down and visit. Well, not becoming. It always has been. It's just. It gets overshadowed a little bit by the centre of town, and I have to say I'm probably guilty of a little bit of that as well. But I want to show you how to get to Mimi's Bakers. Oh, you know what? Let's go back this way first and show you one other quick thing. So, just there. See all this road works here? See that building right there? If I go straight up, straight up there, that gets me to Leith Walk. Then if I continue up Leith Walk, I get to the centre of Edinburgh. Um, and of course, that is now the route that the trams are being extended down to. That's what this is down here. The trams are going to come all the way down here. There's a little bit of dust or something that's given a smudge, I'm sorry. Um, so you're going to, in the not too distant future, if you want to come down here, be able to get the tram right to here, which will take you right into Leith. So, um, for if you're ever thinking about coming down, you can get a bus down right now really easily. But, in the not too distant future, you'll be able to get the tram, and you see that statue right there? That's Rabbi Burns statue, which has recently just rejoined us, retaken its plinth, just in time for Burns Night, actually. So, let's show you where we're going. So that's where the tram will stop. If I turn round, we'll just walk back this way and show you how to get to Mimi's Bakehouse. Okay, this is where I just started here. Here we are, right back at the shore here. Sorry, there's a little bit of rain getting on the lens there. I apologise. And then, once you get to here, all you do is head up this way, and this will take us straight to Mimi's Bakehouse. Here we are at Mimi's. It is a little bit windy, so I'm hoping I'm sheltering from the wind right now. And I hope you can hear me okay. A little bit of history about Mimi's Bakehouse because you know I love local businesses. And I love to tell you about local businesses. And I've told you about Mimi's many times because I, I love food. <laughs> um, but this probably is a nice success story of a local business. Like they started in roughly about 2010, family business where, if I, I may be slightly wrong with the story, but I don't think I am, they sold their house to, to afford to 
buy the first place, which was here. This is this, it didn't start as this whole thing. I think its side is half of this, and now they've extended it two. And now it's grown from let's take a risk, let's try this to five shops in town, a van that drives about and sells uh, the, 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 that sells their delicious tray bakes and cakes, plus a delivery service as well. This beautiful local business that's grown from a risk. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? you got to take a risk. you got to try. You never know. And it really has become... Um, it's, it's got itself into the heart of Edinburgh quite quickly, I think. I think most people in Edinburgh, when you mention Mimi's Bakehouse, when I told my, my workmates that we were going for the before new tea at Mimi's Bakehouse, almost in unison, they all went, oh, I love Mimi's Bakehouse. Almost in unison, it was the exact same thing. So, Kirsten and Lillian are gonna join me. I'm going to go in and try their before noon tea. The before noon tea, just while I'm waiting for Kirsten and Lillian to join me, um, you can only get it here. You can only get it at this Mimi's Bakehouse in Leith on Saturdays and Sundays, and it's £20 per person if you want to try. Book in advance, people. Book in advance. Um, so, this is the only one you can get it at. I think you can still get afternoon teas at some of the other ones, but if you want the before noon tea, this is where you need to go. You can see as well how, how popular Mimi's Bakehouse is. Open every day, winner of the Customer Choice Award for Bakery Cafe of the Year and Scottish Bakery Awards 2020. So the menu in general, you get some French toast, breakfast rolls, I do love a breakfast roll, avocado toast, crumpet eggs, benedicts, posh beans on toast, oh my. Mediterranean toast, brioche buns, three cheese macaroni, oh, <laughs> sandwiches, and of course, this is their afternoon tea on here, but today we are doing something different, and I don't know how many times I can say it, but we're having the before noon tea, and there's Kirsten and Lillian, so let's head in. <laughs> and here we are, inside the beautiful Amy's Bakehouse. So just to go through this incredible before noon tea that we've got. So we've got sublime scones, which are warm Orkney cheddar scones served with chive cream. You've got something sweet here, which is granola jars with homemade jam and coconut yogurt. Mini muffin of the day, breakfast tray bake bite, and mini banana bread, biscoff and vanilla cream and down the bottom here, breakfast uh, bacon rolls, which looks lovely, and avocado crumpet with feta and chilli oil. You've got to start with a bacon roll, truthfully. So Gershon's got the avocado. My plate is a mess. <laughs> with with chilli oil. How is it? It's really nice. Can you taste the chilli oil? More of like an after taste. Nice though. Yeah, well it's not too hot or anything. No. What Gershon has tried. The crumpet with the avocado with the chili on it and a little bit of tomato on top. <laughs> really nice. Crumpets are really nice and soft. Yeah, chili oil isn't overpowering. Really nice. You might be here, able to hear Lillian gently talking in the background. We're moving on to the scones now. These are warm cheddar scones served with chive cream cheese. Which tastes really good. Yeah. I've never had. I don't think I've ever had a scone. Though. Cheese That's scone. Savory. Oh really? <laughs> I don't know if I've had a savory scone either. But I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. Really nice. 
not something I would try on my own. She's gone with chive cream, but it's really nice. Very savoury, but very nice. Savoury is done. Yes, savoury is done. We're on to the sweet stuff now. So next up, this is, this is a beautiful, big tray of stuff. It's, yay! Sorry, my daughter wants a round of applause. <laughs> next up, we've got the jar of homemade jam and coconut yogurt granola with a raspberry on top. Everything's so nice. Over halfway through, but we've now still got three, three treats, which are the muffins and a couple of tray bakes as well. And oh, oh, we are full. And we didn't have breakfast for this, and we are full. This is mini banana bread with uh, Biscoff and vanilla cream and a flower on the top. Do you like banana bread? You like? This is right up the street. Yeah. You're a big fan of sort of banoffee and stuff. Mini muffin of the day as well, which obviously will change day by day. By day, by day. They know how to make a cake here. They really know how to make a cake. And last, but by no means least, a breakfast tray bake bite. In this case, it looks like it's got Rice Krispie kind of treats. So nice. So, so nice. Brunchy time, it's brunch time. But that was delicious. Each and everything on there was lovely from the the baker rolls were really good. The avocado, crumpets, the scones, that granola, both Kirsten and I, the, the homemade jam, coconut yogurt granola was incredible. Both of us really loved that. And all the tray bakes that were beautiful as well. Kirsten just put it in a really nice way, which is it's a really nice balance of savour and sweet. And a really nice way to start the day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice way to start the day. So thank you so much for to Mimi's Bakehouse for inviting us out to try this. Could not recommend it higher. It's lovely. It's really, really, really lovely. Plus, Lillian's with us and they gave her crayons to play with as well. So, you know. That was lovely. That was absolutely lovely. Both of us really, really enjoyed that. Lillian didn't obviously have any of it, but she was quite happy with her crayons and her snacks. Um, but that was really, really good. So I hope uh, that will inspire you to come down and try it. As, as you always know, I always try to encourage you to support local businesses. Thank you again to Mimi's Bakehouse for inviting us down, letting us come try that. I've bought myself, well, we bought ourselves some cakes to take away as well, because cakes, um, but yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that guys, if you have, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye humans.